It's interesting that in Acts chapter 5, people brought the sick out into the street, just waiting for Peter's shadow to heal them. Can you imagine an atmosphere of healing created by the power of God? And where does this kind of thing come from, anyway? You know, before Jesus ascended to heaven, he tells his disciples in John 16, 14, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world can't accept him because it doesn't see or know him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. After Jesus ascended, he gave the apostles more instructions through the Holy Spirit. This is how they were able to do such great works, because they understood how to yield to the power in Christ through the Holy Spirit. Wouldn't you like to have more power to overcome sin and do God's work? Paul states that the mind which has not been conformed to the likeness of Christ is set on the flesh and hostile to God, not submitting to the law. And indeed cannot, for those who are in the flesh can't please God. Do you want to please God, friend? Paul continues, but you are not in the flesh, you are in the Spirit, because the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. Do you feel spiritually alive? Are you overcoming and conquering the world that's constantly trying to tempt and suck the spiritual life out of you? If God's power isn't in you, you won't be able to hold back the forces of evil that would try to oppress your mind and afflict your spirit each and every day.